this is the There Is Another Way podcast from SpencerBruce.com. Making life work as a creative. Hi there, boys and girls. Brucey here with this, well, this week's, this month's, the latest There Is Another Way podcast. How are you all doing out there? I hope you are all doing fine out there in podcast land. First off, where have I been? Where has the podcast been? I've had so many of you asking. All I can do is say life has been happening. Lots of things, lots of good things have been happening. A few sad things have been happening, but just life in general uh, has been happening, which means that I haven't had the time really to dedicate that I need to putting out podcasts. Another thing as well, it relates back to the last couple of podcasts where I asked a whole bunch of questions. In asking those questions, I wasn't just asking them of you, the, the listener. I was asking them of myself and a few things popped into my mind that have made me been doing a, a lot of thinking recently. So life has been happening and thinking has been happening and direction has been happening. And it seems quite poignant as well because we are coming into the last month of 2019, the last month of this decade, and we are about to go into the 20s. The world is in a, let's say, very interesting place right now. And as a result of that, um, I have been doing quite a lot of thinking, going back to those questions, asking about all the things I have been doing in life. As I've said and alluded to, I don't want to go into too much detail, but as I said, life life has been happening and it's, it's caused me to pause for thought, pause a lot of the things that I've been doing, but move forward on some of the other projects that have been underlying. Uh, not as successfully as I would have hoped. And one thing I really want to stress with this podcast today is uh, I am kind of coming back to the podcast, um, but I needed to take some time away after going through those questions myself uh, after the last podcast and really think about where I'm going and where I want this podcast to do. And I know we've kind of only had a reboot relatively recently, but I think that's part of the problem. I, I feel that you know, what I set it out to do with this podcast is encourage people or help people to realize that life is really important and life as a creative is really important. But more and more, I think that that is quite limiting to some regard because life is important to all of us. Doesn't matter if you're a creative or not. And I feel that, you know, my passion lies in helping people to discover themselves uh, <laughs> in some regards, but discover you know, what makes them tick, what makes them happy and how to be able to pursue that. Because without sounding too Buddhist or too hippieist, you know, life life is so short. And that has been kind of something, a topic which has been resonating as well a, a lot at the moment. You know, there's been some unfortunate passing away and it really makes you reflect on life. So there's death to deal with, but there's also this turn of a decade and, and looking back. And, and for me personally, it's kind of looking back to the millennium as well. It's like, the Millennium 2000, I remember it, it only yesterday. What the hell happened? How did we get to 2020? So I have been reflecting and I didn't feel like, you know, maybe the podcast was a good place to do that. I also felt that perhaps I was struggling with some of the ideas to put forward. And the only thing I can guarantee you 100% for sure is that there is no bullshit with this podcast. I'm not putting stuff out because I want ratings. Or I don't want anything. I'm just putting it out there because particularly I know a few people who listen, you know, I've I feel like I'm communicating with them. I, I, I'm speaking to them personally when I put the podcast out. It's a way of mulling over ideas. And thanks to the few people who have come up to me in person and said, you know, they're, they're listening to the podcast, always an interesting thing to deal with. You're like, oh, really? Okay. Uh, I didn't realize, but um, that's good. And feeling that they're being, you know, hopefully thinking about what they're doing, inspiring them to come up with ideas. But as a result of that, I only feel that some of the content that I have been doing, there's only so many times you can say, you know, set goal lists and do these things. And, you know, every once in a while, it's good to refresh these ideas and think them through. But at the same time, I felt that I wasn't also giving, you know, my experience and some of the things, some of the ups and downs. On the whole, things are really good. My There Is Another Way lifestyle is pretty good. It's it's working out. I support myself as a creative. I support, those worries aren't the same worries that some of you who may be wanting to jump ship are worrying uh, about. But at the same time, I have been trying to do some more creative projects and been coming up what I th with what I think a lot of artists, creatives, and probably people in everyday life st struggle with. And I kind of feel like that, you know, that maybe 
talking through some of these issues might be interesting for the, the podcast listeners rather than kind of like how we change our lives and all these kind of grand statements. I kind of thought maybe talking through the, the ups and the downs of, of, of being creative and sometimes how, I wouldn't say you go into negative places, but um, negativity and kind of inflicts a lot, or at least your brain jumps in and prevents you from doing a lot of stuff. And that's something I have been struggling with constantly, and particularly with one or two projects I'm working on at the moment, where I've been putting a lot of effort in, but for little results. And it really has been a learning curve. And you think, well, after all these years of doing it and all the, you know, the, the fact, you know, I'm teaching students how to do all these things. Sometimes when you reflect back on yourself, you go, oh, maybe I need to take some, some of my own words to heart and listen to myself a bit more. But also that it does inflict us all sometimes with writer's block and creative blocks and doubt and red light fever and all these things. And the more I was thinking of it, the more I thought, well, maybe these are going to be more relevant topics for stuff that I might want to talk about in the podcast and maybe kind of focusing in on specific examples or let's put it as case studies more than grand exercises of things that you you can do and out of that hopefully will come ideas and suggestions and inspirations for you guys listening as to ways forward obviously with 2020 coming up i thought it would be a good time as well to reflect back and perhaps look forward to the future and as i alluded to earlier you know we're in very 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 strange times and part of me is scratching my head wondering is where are uh, artistic creative rebels where is undercurrent where is where is the rebellion happening and as a result of these thoughts i have been kind of inspired and kind of dragged into some serious thoughts which i might either put forward as some kind of paper or perhaps just use the podcast as a way of explaining it but i think i've started to get a handle on where the world is now and why these things are happening and it's really really scary and as a result of that again i don't put myself self down as some great thinker but i think i've got some some ideas that i'd love to explore and probably art is the way of exploring that my creativity my music my videos is the way of exploring that and perhaps as I was thinking this through, that is my next step. The world has brought me to this point in 2020 and reaching a certain age. Uh, I've been doing certain art forms and certain ways of doing it. And maybe now with what's going on and the focus of turning my art focus towards that is where my actual voice lies. Because I think that's something we try and do always as artists and maybe struggle with is trying to find your voice. I'm always shouting and ramming down students' throats, you know, find your voice, find your niche, find find what it is that makes you unique and put it out there. Don't be afraid. And then I feel like actually myself, I've I've not completely done that. So this is why the podcast hasn't been around, because I've been doing a lot of thinking, as you can hear. I've got a lot of notebooks. Here is a notebook. I don't know why I needed to do that for you. But uh, so, yeah, there's the sound of a notebook. It's full up with ideas and concepts. And uh, I'm really, really excited. And because of that excitement, I thought it was a good time to switch on the microphone again and get back and talk to you guys. I haven't meant to be away. As I said, life, life just happens sometimes. But I'm back. The regularity of which I am back, I'm not completely sure. Because again, I don't want to just keep churning out content that isn't useful and maybe going over and repeating the same ideas. I want these to be unique tools that can help you guys listening uh, and inspire you guys listening, which again, I hope I do. You know, that's, uh, that, that, that's just the goal of kind of encouraging you to just push forward in an unideal world. So that's where we're at. That's where we have been. As I said, I've got a lot of projects that I wanted to get done. Timescales have slipped, timescales always slipped, but I am not too disheartened by that because there is an end in sight and I can now start to see the end in sight. My guitar album, Inner Circles, that really kind of has slipped a little bit, but I'm going to talk about that probably in a future podcast uh, and talk about the reasons why this project has slightly got behind. And most of it is me. <laughs> That's the simple answer is seeking perfection, having issues and just generally not being happy. And the surprising thing, and a little taster into this, a lot of it came down to workflow. Surprise that it's not about technique. 
the ability to um, not play things. It was just down to workflow and, and finding the right, right space and the right environment. And as a result of that, and again, another reason why I've been kind of out of commission is my home studio has had a bit of a revamp lately. Uh, if anyone watches my YouTube videos, you'll see that things look a little bit different. And um, all of that was to do with just changing the vibe in here to something where I just want to come and create. Before it was very functional and it needed to be, and it still is functional, but things, I've just moved things into places which make more sense. And I've got rid of, and this has been another massive undertaking for me, but, and again, this will be, a, there will be a whole podcast uh, devoted to this coming up soon, possibly in the new year, because it's probably a good time to, to look into this, but clearing out, I've l cleared out so much stuff. Haven't got rid of it all yet because uh, eBay and whatever is a little bit slow, but uh, so much gear uh, I've just got rid of because it was slowing me down and it was this weight on my shoulders and I feel this massive sense of relief and I feel that my work is getting better because I've not got so much stuff. And I know, again, this is probably a topic we've talked about a lot on the podcast, but you know, I'm practicing what I preach here. I'm really clearing out and really just focusing in on the things that I have and being really creative with the things that I've had. And I've had so much fun and so much new stuff has come out. And as you can tell in my voice, hopefully, you know, I'm really happy about these developments and long may it continue. So again, we'll, we'll talk about that in the the upcoming podcast. Uh, but yeah, workflow, I've really looked into workflow, vibe and space and creating an environment where, yeah, it's it's a work environment. And it is, I'm here, you know, eight, 10 hours a day working solidly on music, sound, whatever projects I'm working on. But it needs to be a space where I feel that I can create and work effectively. That's the other thing as well, which again, I'll, I'll talk more about in the actual podcast itself so there we go i wanted to keep this one short and again in future i'm probably going to keep podcasts a little bit shorter because i just feel as well we're you know we're bombarded with something and i don't want to feel like i'm taking your time i just want to feel like you can uh, dip into this and get some you know some ideas some creative inspiration and some support for what you're doing and then dip again, out again without having to make a major commitment to something. I think that's really important. And that's really important going forward into 2020 that, you know, there's, there's so much amazing, great content out there. And I'm not saying that mine is by any chance. Uh, I've not got that big a head. But there's so much vying for attention that I, you know, I'm so honored that people listen to this and again, give me feedback in person. That really, that's really great. And, you know, thank you so much for that. So again, I don't want to feel like I'm stealing your time. I just want to feel that like I'm offering something to you in a bite-sized chunk that you can take away and get on with all the things that we need to get on with. So it's been a reflective time. It's been a real learning time, but we are kind of back. There will be at least another podcast before the end of the year. I can guarantee you on that. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you. As always, please do leave your comments in the Facebook group. There is another way podcast. Love to hear from you. Love to hear. Love it when you guys share things to the pace as well. You know, that would be my thing for 2020. I just want to create that space as somewhere as where you can go and talk about creativity, talk about life, talk about there is another way, talk about escaping the nine to five, all these things. That, that's what it's there for. So I also thought as well, you know, of talking about these projects I'm working on, I'm going to play a bit more and let you hear a little bit of the stuff that's going on. So here is a little excerpt, and this is an exclusive. This has never been heard before of a new project coming up, and I'm not even going to talk about the project's name or anything. I'm just going to let you have a little listen. discuss this more when a time is relevant thanks for listening again 
You're a great audience. You're really supportive. And I, you know, I really appreciate that. Look forward to talking to you more in the future. Keep up the good work and I will speak to you very, very soon. I promise that this time. Take care of yourselves and catch you later. Bye.